started out. Hey, beautiful. I just did a video about these um, butterflies. Um, darn it. That I don't want. I got to get rid of that guy. But in the meantime... I just did a video about the caterpillars that turn into this beautiful butterfly. So pretty. Now let me get rid of... Oh, shoot. I missed my window of opportunity. I really think that thing that I just saw down there was what... Um... Was what, um lays the egg that bursts the tomato hornworm why would I not have because this was more beautiful and it was more important for me to get this than to get that oh such is life so beautiful oh man she's so pretty mm -hmm. take a little time to enjoy the nature Oh, and this is funny that she showed up because I was just going to talk about, um, and there she goes, I was just going to talk about how, um, I didn't see the, those caterpillars anymore, but I do. There's one here, and one down there. Now there were three yesterday. It was a, a big one up here, but I don't, I don't see that one. Got some nice looking shishito peppers in here. Oh, let's see. And I'm gonna I'm gonna harvest. This is a nice size one right here. I'm gonna harvest this guy. And we're gonna see. Let's see if I can do this one hand action. Uh, snip. Let's see what this thing tastes like. I I know what they taste like. Blistered. Never actually tasted it raw. So let's see. So the optimal size is about three inches long. Um, shishitos are a good uh, sweet pepper. They're, they're good blistered. If you put them in a um, <laughs> the, the black butterfly. I, don't, I am fascinated with that thing. I don't know why. But anyhow, um, put these in a, a pan with a little olive oil and just blister them up. And then um, toss them in a little sea salt. Or sprinkle a little sea salt on them after they're done. It's good times. But I'm going to taste this one. Nice crunch to it. It's a mild pepper. Not mild as in heat. Mild as in flavor. It's not necessarily sweet. Or at least this one isn't. Um, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the mes method that I enjoy them. And like I said, that's blistering them and serving them with a little, a little sea salt. So... This was the biggest one out of all those on that plant. I'm going to wait um, until I can harvest like a nice amount of them. And then I'll do a video of uh, how I normally cook these. But honestly, I'd, I'd dice this up. Put it in a salad. Um, 
can use it in the same way you use any any other pepper but I'm gonna save those seeds definitely gonna do that <laughs> well after I enjoy the rest of this the rest of the pepper as soon as I said something about harvesting the seeds from that pepper it made me think about these petunias um, and the fact that I'm looking for oh here we go the fact that you can save seeds from the petunias and I haven't touched this one in a while so it's perfect because there's actually one ready right here now when your petunias have been pollinated after they die off let me find one that has um, usually you can pull them out like really really easily um, I can't do any of these right now ah there we go see how that one just just came out now underneath it you would see a little tiny if you can see I can't focus it but right down in there is a little tiny green hold on there you see that it's a little tiny green pod that pod will turn into this here which is you want to carefully can't do this of course I usually do it with two hands um, let me get this off of here I'm I'm destroying a flower. Let me get this off of here and I'll come back and I'll show you guys. That little green pod turns into this here. It hardens and browns and inside, once again, if I can do this with one hand, I will. If not, I'll come back and show you guys what's inside. Um, but if you break this open, they're so tiny. There you go. Petunia seeds. Now you can plant some, save some. Um, and there's there's a, a ton of them in here. So I ran in the house to get a piece of paper to make a makeshift uh, envelope. And I... I found three more pods because that napkin was a little moist um, so the seeds that I've found on there I just put them it's a bit windy out here I just put them in there with the plant we'll see we'll see what happens to it but anyhow from the other three pods these are all the seeds that I got and there's a few more pods on there and I'm gonna, gonna collect those seeds as well but I just wanted to show you guys that you can definitely save your own petunia seeds um, I mean you you want to be harvesting as much seeds as possible because these things get expensive these plants get expensive um, so here's one here like I was saying the flower itself had already been pollinated and died off and what's underneath it is this green pod again you want to wait until it turns um, I was just looking to see if there was any more in here but it's the same as I just showed you you want to wait until they turn completely brown and when you crack it open if the seeds just start falling out um, that means they're ready. So I was wondering if parasitic wasps or anything else were going to mess with these caterpillars and yes. There's a bee having a field day. Unbelievable. You know, it's a wonder Oh, so it's a bee on one side and a wasp on the other side. It's a wonder butterflies survive at all. 
And maybe that's why it's so magical just seeing one and taking a lot little time to sit still and enjoy its beauty. <sighs> I was really excited about um, leaving those caterpillars alone and allowing them to do what they do and turn into the beautiful black butterfly that I saw earlier. I'm a little bummed. I keep looking over there at the plant. I'm a little bummed out. Um, you know, but it, it's just, um, I don't know. It's nature. You know, it's like a catch-22. You want the wasps because um, they uh, you know, they get rid of worms in your garden that you don't want in your garden. Um, I guess there's no way to really say, hey, eat the worms over there and not the caterpillars over here. They didn't touch that tomato hornworm, though. None of them. Those of you that saw the video, there were, there were three of them. But, anywho... I just wanted to talk about that because I'm I'm kind of bummed out. They ate all those caterpillars. It's unfortunate. Um, but such is life. At least there is one uh, black butterfly roaming around here somewhere. So somebody made it. One out of three. I'll take it.